Loose puck at the Flyer blue line. Picked up. Yes. Okay. I, okay. Jeff said uh, now the streaming should be live. Uh, the signal was not good. So if you're just now starting to pick up the video, that's the reason. There's a pass into the Dayton zone intercepted by the Flyers and picked up behind the net by Mike Mygon. Pass up on left wing to center off a stick down into the Mountaineer zone. There's a shot. Uh, Kavakic the save, and he'll hold on to it. There's going to be a face-off down at the other end. I've got to get the my frame so that it doesn't disappear. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you. Hold on, folks. I gotta get from the firm to disappear. Okay. There's a shot blocked in front of the Dayton net, and the puck ricochets over the glass. Okay, here we go. Face off in the Dayton zone right below us. Flyers win the draw. Federico tips it to the center red line. Puck dumped in behind the West Virginia net. No score. We're five and a half minutes into period number one. Here's a quick shot. Deflects off to the right wing boards. Flyers control it there. And at the 14-minute mark, uh, we see Paquetti come back on the ice for Dayton on defense. And here's a chance for the Mountaineers. Centering pass is now actually behind the net to Sokol. Sokol, left wing circle, centers. It's deflected away off a skate of Connor Constable to Brett Smith of Dayton on right wing. Smith into neutral ice. He'll flip it to the opposite corner in the Mountaineer zone, but that's icing. Stock Ketty. Loose puck, Ambrosi to Smith. Back to the point. One-timer shot is deflected up over the Dayton net. Loose puck, right wing boards. Smith to the right point. Shot blocked. Smith again for West Virginia on right wing. He's ridden out of the play along the boards. Ambrosi for West Virginia in the corner. He's tied up along the boards right there, and the puck deflects up high to the left wing side. Stock a shot for West Virginia, blocked wide. Brett Smith trying to clear the puck out of the Dayton zone. It's shot right back in behind the net, played there by Mark Pickett. will backhand it down the ice. No score. We're eight minutes into period number one. Puck chipped in the Dayton zone. Wrapped around to the left wing side. Smith clears it. 
back to get it for West Virginia is Caleb Cannell. Carnell, that is. He'll shoot it in the Dayton zone. Pass behind the net. Carnell centers, and it's poke checked away by Parks. And a shot at the other end, and they score. Flyers score as they just move the puck down the ice. I'll try to get the number of who scored. And that is Tommy Rutherford. So Tom Rutherford, he's the Flyers. One of their leading scorers now with nine goals on the season. And Dayton leads it one to nothing. Or did they count? Did they count the goal? They haven't put it on the board yet. Did they count that, Jeff? Uh, they didn't put anything up. I don't. I was writing that his name down, so I didn't see if they had a face off at center or not. Hmm. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Well, so we'll hold on, folks. I'm, we think it's one nothing Dayton, but we're not sure. I cleared back to the center red line. It's played by Tyler Halcroft. He'll dump it in. Still no indication on the scoreboard that, that Dayton scored. So at this point, I, at this point, I assume it's nothing, nothing. Maybe there was some reason that they waved the goal off down there. Hmm. Clock stopped 10, 15 to go, so we're about midway through the period. Oh, I got you. So at this point, we it appears to be nothing, nothing. Because um, now there's a delayed penalty on West Virginia. Parks heads to the bench, and now the whistle play dead. Now they put the goal up. Okay, they were just slow to do that. And it's a penalty on West Virginia's Carter Brown. You didn't have to see what they signaled for a penalty, did you? Well, 20. Well, I thought I saw 51 going in the box, but they have it as 25. That would be. Well, wait a minute. They don't have a 25. They don't have a 25. I saw 51 going in the box. And now the Flyers score again at the other end. Sorry for the slow reaction, folk. I, I was looking on the West Virginia roster to see if they had a number 25, so I didn't see the the play at the other end, but the Flyers put the puck in the net. It's a power play goal by Kevin Bora. I saw 51 going in the box. Okay. So, yeah, they, they, the scoreboard op is not right. And they and then the end, they put the Flyers up three to nothing. They're not up three to nothing, are they? Isn't it two? 
Okay. So there's some just some problems going on at the scorer's table. There's a shot deflected wide of the date and net. So, yeah, and it's not number 25 in the box. There is no 25 for West Virginia if you're looking at the scoreboard. It's 51 Carter Brown who is in the box. And he had a 10-minute penalty. Ten minutes. So yeah, we don't know what uh, what they signaled. So, but it was a ten-minute major penalty against Carter Brown, and it's resulted in one power play goal by Kevin Bora. And for Bora, that's his fifth goal of the season. He's the lone senior on the Flyer team, and the team captain. So good start for Dayton, up two nothing. We're 8.40 left in period number one. And still 8.40 left in the Carter Brown major penalty. Brent Smith. Pass at center intercepted. Then a big hit on Dane Martin of West Virginia. Flyers come away with it. But then it's taken back by the Mountaineers. Nice effort by Ambrosi of West Virginia. Drops it to the point. There's a shot, screenshot, and it deflects wide. Either that or Park's got a piece of it with a stick. I'm not sure, but it deflected wide of the Dayton net. Now here's Brett Smith. Pass at center. Goes too far in front of its intended target. Mountaineers come back with it. And now Declan Ploys plays the puck for Dayton. For Rutherford, a shot. And wide of the West Virginia goal. Now the puck rolls on end all the way toward the Dayton net. It's played for the Flyers by Paquetti. He beats Brady to the puck. Now Brady is able to sweep, check the puck off of his stick, but it's played for the Flyers. And taken all the way down, there's a shot at the Mountaineer net and the save made by Kavikic. And the Mountaineers trying to get it out. Flyers hold it in. Almost a mirror image of how much time is left in the period uh, as to how much time is in the major penalty to Brown. 6.45 to go in the period. 6.50 left in the Dayton major power play. Here come the Mountaineers shorthanded play by Francis Gallagher. He's one of the bigger players on that Mountaineer team, but he's checked, puck cleared. Goals for the Flyers by Rutherford and Bora have given them a two to nothing lead. And now the there's a whistle. Are they at full strength? Oh, okay. And now here for the Flyers is Mygon. He lost it. And trying to make a play on the puck for West Virginia was Stankiewicz, their leading scorer, but Unable to get a shot off. Now at the other end, a shot toward the Mountaineer net is wide. And cleared back to the Dayton line. Played for the Flyers by Federico. Federico gets past Ducalo. Wraps it around to the right wing corner of the Mountaineer zone. Puck comes back into the Dayton end. Played by Sieve, gets around Ducalo. Pass for Flyer teammate Alex 
Pompeina, Pompina, I should say, sorry about that, and Pompina dumps it in the Mountaineer zone. Five, uh, five minutes even to play in the first period. And now five minutes even left in the Brown penalty, but the teams are at full strength. There's Piketty, or, or check, that's Jackson Reed, a shot is flipped wide of the Mountaineer goal. Mountaineers come away with the puck. They are in the white sweaters. But checked into the boards was Jake Weichel. Now a shot at the Dayton net as just wide. Tavian Park slid over with a big leg pad and his skate kicked out, but the puck was wide. Now Howcroft in the corner to Panchison back to the point. Screenshot. Blocked in front, Parks is down, and the puck cleared back to the line. Another shot blocked. And here's Bora for Dayton. Kevin Bora, check right at the Mountaineer line, loose puck, shot for the Flyers by Sully Clark. And that's blocked in front. And cleared all the way down the ice. It'll be an icing violation on West Virginia as Declan Poise plays the puck. Again, your referees for today's game, Eric Schreiner, Daral Kindop, and Lee McClure. I don't know if I mentioned those gentlemen's name right at the outset of the contest, but those are our referees for today. And then a stoppage of play and a face-off will be conducted down at the other end of the ring. Looks like Aiden Ward takes the draw. Back for Paquetti. It's poke checked away from him down the ice. Played for the Flyers by Ploice. Ploice give and go. Pass comes strays off to the left wing boards. Now it's cleared back behind the Mountaineer net. Puck rimmed around to the left wing side and the flyer zone. There's a shot for the Mountaineers. Kicked out by the right skate of Tavian Parks. Another shot blocked by the Flyers' Declan Ploice in front of the net. Loose puck picked up by Connor Constable. Constable flips it into the Mountaineer zone. And there's a play by Caleb Carnell. He played the puck for West Virginia, but got tied up. Puck cleared again behind the Mountaineer. Goal. Two and a half to go in the period. The Mountaineers, they play and they... There's a shot that's blocked and the Mountaineers come back. Quick shot off the stick of Dylan Williams is wide. It was blocked wide. After the puck for Dayton was Federico. He's poke checked away. I was mentioning West Virginia plays in the Atlantic Coast Conference Hockey League. They have teams at all three club levels. Uh, Division one, two, and three. There's a shot, centering pass, kicked out by Parks. Great save by the Flyer starting netminder, Tavian Parks. Another shot, and Parks will swallow that up. Tavian Parks, a freshman out of Uniontown, Ohio, six foot two. Hmm. Maybe in 190 pounds. There's a shot wide of the flyer goal. As uh, mentioning, West Virginia has teams on the club level at divisions one, two, and three in the ACHA, and also a women's program. So a very vibrant hockey program. There's a shot, and Kavakich 
making the stop, and there's a scuffle in front of the West Virginia net. The referee's trying to break that up. But I was asking Coach Adam Brown yesterday of uh, how in the world is there such an uh, interest in hockey down in West Virginia? You can fill up three club rosters and a women's roster. And he said he didn't know why there is such a, a good uh, interest. There's a penalty on the Mountaineers. It's going to be on Dane Martin, number 61. And for the Flyers, looks like Seabass, Sebastian Altoff, I think, went in. So dual penalties. With the Flyers in the blue sweaters, red trunks, leading at 2 nothing. One ten to go in the period. Uh, Nigel said the audio is way low. His volume on his device. Just turn up the volume on the device. That's, uh, I guess, all we can do at this point. Sorry, Nigel. Well, um, YouTube Watcher says, Hi, Uncle Kent. Hey, YouTube Watcher. And Dominus22 says, What is the penalty on Brown? And we don't know. That's one disadvantage of being here at this rink is uh, there's a shot, and Park spears it ankle high out of the air. Nice glove by Tavian Parks. But, yeah, sorry. Um, Dominus 22 we don't know what the penalty on Brown was a major penalty but I, I asked the uh, West Virginia contingent up here in our mezzanine uh, Jake Huff one of their uh, players who's injured who's up here helping uh, the coaching staff uh, um, with uh, some statistics and he he didn't know either so, unfortunately, uh, we didn't see any signal from the refs down here. So, we don't know. Sorry about that. If we were at our regular rink, uh, we were in our crow's nest, we could just shout down to the to the uh, penalty box or to the scorer's table right beneath us and ask what, what it was. But We need to set up a, a uh, texting system where the scorer's table texts us information we need to do that buzzer sounds the end of the first period there's just five seconds left in that carter brown major penalty that we're not sure what it is but he's going to be out of the box in a few seconds when we start the second period score after one period of play it's dayton two and west virginia nothing uh jake day says only two guy things can get a guy 10 minute penalty none of them good <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, Jake Day says there's only two, a few things that get a 10-minute penalty and none of them good. <laughs> we agree. Uh, yeah, the lighting is here. It's terrible. Hold on. Let me turn the lights on. You want me to turn the lights on? I think it's okay. You sure? Yeah. Because I could turn that, turn that light on. But... Okay. Well, not much to say, folks. Um, a scoring rundown. Uh, again, we don't have assists because they, they don't have public address. Um, so all we can give you is the goal scorer, and that's it. Um, but uh, Tom Rutherford appeared to be the first goal scorer for Dayton. And for Tom, that would be his ninth of the season. And um, then the second goal appeared to be scored by Kevin Bora, a power play goal, uh, his fifth of the season. So that's, uh, that's where we're at, uh, folks. I tell you, Jeff, um, why don't we shoot the Zamboni? And I think I'm just going to hold off here. 
we're going to step aside um, while they run the Zamboni. And we'll back, be back uh, with some more audio as they get ready to drop the puck for the second period. Again, after one, it's Dayton 2 and West Virginia nothing. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back uh, when we're ready to drop the puck in the second period.
Okay, everybody, thanks for hanging with us. The Zamboni has completed its travels, and the teams are going to be getting ready to come back on the ice. We have a few chat messages I want to pass along. Um, first of all, uh, Lou Best. Hey, Lou. Um, he is uh, from the West Virginia contingent. Uh, Lou says Carter Brown got a two-minute interference minor, not a major. Uh, he came out after the goal. So thanks for passing that on, Lou. Um, yeah, we were going by the scoreboard. There was only a 10-minute penalty on the scoreboard. There was uh, no two-minute penalty, but it didn't have Carter Brown's number on the board. It had number 25, which there is no 25 on West Virginia. There is on Dayton. But uh, the penalty was listed as being on the, the away team side. So I don't know. But thanks for passing it along. So I, I guess we apologize to Carter Brown for saying he had a major penalty if he had only had a minor penalty. Um, but thanks, Lou, for passing that along to us. And then Duke Clark says right back at it. Uh, uh, Kent and Jeff, I uh, appreciate the, our dedication to UD Flyers. Thank you, uh, Duke. We appreciate it. Let's bring home uh, when to get to 500 and keep rolling. That's right. And they're off to a good start doing that with a 2 to nothing lead. The Flyers goals by Rutherford and Bora. Tom Rutherford, 6'2", 220 sophomore from Chicago. And Kevin Bora, the 5'11", 182-pound senior out of Boston are the two goal scorers in this game. Meanwhile, in the box, uh, dual made minor penalties. Sebastian Altoff of Dayton and for West Virginia, uh, Dane Martin, both in the box for 45 more seconds. Nate Kavakic and the Crease right below us, Tavian Parks in the crease all the way down yonder. Again, the Flyers in their powder blue or chapel blue sweaters with red trunks, and the Mountaineers in the white sweaters, black trunks. My name is Kent Jacobs, along with our producer engineer, Jeff Duford. Sorry for... Uh, some transmission trouble that's uh, endemic to uh, this facility. Uh, the, the stream uh, uh, is, is always kind of struggles here because the Wi-Fi is not good. There's a good poke check by Kavakic to break up Rutherford trying to move in at the side of the Mountaineer net. Now the puck cleared by Plotkin down the ice, and that's an icing violation on West Virginia. Yeah, Dominus, uh, or Dominus, Dominus 22 says Carter Brown only got a two-minute penalty. That's according to Lou Best, and I, I trust what Lou's saying. Uh, he probably had a good eye on that. Um, um, we were just going by the scoreboard, and the scoreboard seemed to be completely, we don't know what it was trying to say, because it had a 10-minute penalty, but for a non-existent West Virginia number, Nothing for the Carter Brown, but I saw Brown go in the penalty box. So who knows? It's all expired now, and uh, so uh, we don't know. Here's a centering pass in front of the Mountaineer goal that's intercepted by Stankiewicz. He clears the puck. Now Plotkin has to track it back down in the West Virginia zone. His pass deflected right back to him and he sends it over to Stankiewicz who will slide it at to the Dayton line. Loose puck behind the Mountaineer goal picked up for West Virginia by Tyler Howcroft. Howcroft carries in the Dayton zone and the puck comes off of his stick. And the Flyers dump it back. Played for the Mountaineers by Carter Brown. Pass up ahead for Tyler Howcroft. Centers the puck and 
Nobody able to get a tip on it. We're two and a half minutes into the second period. Two to nothing, Dayton. There's a save by Parks on a tip right in front of the Dayton net at the other end of the ring. Down here come the Flyers the other way. Play by DeLeo. He's checked by Brown. Loose puck. Weichel a shot, and it comes in on net, and a save made by Tavian Parks. Got another message. This is from uh, Jake Day. Scoreboard is weird. I've been to a lot of hockey games. I've never seen a 10-minute penalty on the board. Usually those are misconduct penalties. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I Yeah, those are... Uh, those are misconduct penalties. You're right, the 10-minute the majors. So I don't know what was going on down there. There's a big check from behind by Ambrosi. He uh, got away with that one. Flyers control it at the other end. And it's cleared back, uh, and it'll be an icing violation against Dayton. As Kevin Bora has a word with, I believe that's referee Kindock. Got a message from Ogie O. Hey, Ogie, how's it going? Ogie says, hi, Kent. Happy New Year. Nice to have you back. Thanks, Ogie. Nice to be back, as Jeff and I are very excited to bring Flyer Hockey to you for the second half of the season. Especially with the team playing this well, my goodness gracious. Flyers winners of four out of the last five games, dating back to Thanksgiving time. There's a blast and save by Kavakic and the rebound. Flyers unable to control the rebound. On the ice was Ward. He's able to shovel the puck behind the net. There's a shot for the Flyers. It's up over the glass. Aiden Ward and he, in frustration, uh, shot that puck too high and then he started shaking his head. Aiden thinking he Probably could have gotten a better shot away. But it does generate a face-off deep in the West Virginia zone from the draw. Shot, pad save, Kavakic. Another shot, pad save, rebound! Nice shot! Big Ten Stuber was right at the side of the net. He was waiting for that rebound as Kavakic made a couple of pad saves and Big Teddy was right there at the side of the cage and able to just punch it in for Ted Stuber, his second goal of the season. Teddy, the six foot five, 200 pounder law uh, major from Rocky River, Ohio. He's a grad student. And that makes it three to nothing now, Dayton. So Ted Stuber, who missed a lot of time in the first half of the season due to injury is back, and boy, I tell you, a healthy Ted Stuber would be a big shot in the arm, as well as the new player Jackson Reed. That's a couple of six-foot-five bodies that the Coach Morris has out there to apply some physicality. Here's a big hit into the boards. That was Weichel of West Virginia went flying the boards, but he's okay. We've got a delayed whistle, and that's a icing violation on Dayton. 
Ted Stuber, he did his undergrad work at Ohio University, played for the Bobcats, and then came to University of Dayton Law School, and he had still had uh, eligibility to, to play hockey. There's a shot by the Mountaineers' Carnell that's wide. And so Ted, uh, going to grad uh, law school in Dayton, is still able to play some hockey. I got a message from uh, Dominus22. Just want to say great job commenting. Thank you, Dominus22. Appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. Very kind uh, of you to say that. So, and it is three to nothing now, Flyers. Big, big game for the Dayton team as they try to pull to 500. They got off to, I think it was a 1-4 and four start and a 2-5 and five start, but have rebounded to win 4 of 5. And if they can hold on to this game this afternoon, we'll pull to 500 for the season. Oh, a penalty on the play on Dayton, and it was on Joe Kostelk. No, it's on West Virginia. What? It is incorrect. Huh? Virginia eleven flat. Oh yeah, they had it wrong uh, on the scoreboard. They it was West Virginia. It's eleven on West Virginia. Who is Nate Panchison? Panchison. P a n c h i s i n. Panchison. Uh, had uh, the penalty, and it says it's a major. Don't ask me. Here's Rutherford for Dayton. Rutherford centers. Oh, one-timer by Jackson Reed. Gets blocked by Dane Martin of West Virginia. And then a shot at the other end. And Parks will make the stop. That was a big block by Dane Martin on this end a moment ago to block the one-time blast by Jackson Reed. Thirteen thirty-five to go in period number two. Flyers in the Chapel Blue, or also called Columbia Blue, Sweaters and the red trunks lead at 3 nothing over the visiting West Virginia Mountaineers. Here's a centering pass broken up and intercepted by Howcroft of West Virginia. Shot at the other end and a couple of players pile up. Flyers come back. Shot is deflected wide off of Carnell. Now here's Ploice, a shot and a stick save by Kavakich. And the puck is cleared away by Weichel of West Virginia. Mountaineers at the other end control the puck. Now the Flyers come away with it. Pass at centers, controlled by the Flyers. Now a drop pass, top of the slot, shot, save, rebound, was loose, but picked up by the Mountaineers, and here's Weichel the other way. Weichel checked into the corner boards at the other end of the rink, or that's Ambrosie, I beg your pardon, Ambrosie, not Weichel. Got my numbers mixed up, Ambrosie's 43, Weichel's 34. There's a shot, pad saved by Parks. Rebound still live. There's a whack at it from Palahunik of West Virginia, blocked back into the West Virginia zone. There's Palahunik, number 91, from behind his own net. Now back to Martin, back to Palahunik. And Palahunik's pass to Nick Stock is off the boards and cleared right back behind the West Virginia net. Martin plays it, 
Dane Martin, he's checked into the boards. Still prodding at the puck. Rutherford fighting for it. Now the Flyers get a shot. Save. Rebound is still loose. And spinning around several times was the goalkeeper, Kavakic. He didn't know where the puck was. And he did about three pirouettes right down here in front of us. And he was able to keep the puck out of the net. Flyers play at Tommy Sieve at his own blue line. Up ahead, there's a big check by Williams of West Virginia. Shot at the other end by Ambrosi. Ricochets back to the blue line, and the Mountaineers have to circle back. There's a shot, and it's blocked. And here come the Flyers this way. There's a chance. A shot. Blocker pad save by Kavakic on Tommy Sieve's shot. Nice save by Kavakic, or Kavakic as he sticks his big blocker pad out and parries the puck over the glass. And we'll have a face-off from the draw in the... Mountaineer zone, Star picks it ahead to center ice. Flyers intercept there. Past the midway point of the game right now, just under 10 minutes to go in the second. Flyers lead it 3 0. Looking for more here in the second period. Here's Bora. Passes back to the point of shot. And Kavakic is able to spear it out of the air with his trapping mitt. As the Flyers, Spencer DeLeo was waiting for a rebound. Got a message from Lou Best that uh, penalty that was uh, a while back was uh, for slashing. Uh, yeah, not a major. Yeah, and, and why they're putting 10 minutes on the board, the, uh, the the scoreboard these last co uh, or a couple of times. I don't know. I don't know, Lou. What's going on down there? There's a chance for the Flyers. Shot. Save. Kavakic. I keep wanting to say Kavakic. <laughs> it's K-A-V-A-K-I-C-H. And the Mountaineer players told me it's Kavakic. Here's Sokol, pass for Smith, Mason Smith, centering in front of the Dayton net, and it tips wide. Here come the Flyers, back the other way. Pass over for Constable, ridden into the end boards, now for Federico. Federico lost it. It's picked up right in front of his own net by Plotkin, and he clears the puck. Flyers shoot it in, and Carnell will dump it right back out for the Mountaineers. Shot on net at the other end, and Parks will hit the ice to cover that one. Nigel Gunn. Hey, Nigel. Uh, he says that Dominius 22 is a good geezer. <laughs> Puck shot in the Mountaineer zone. Behind the net, Kavakic sets it up for Brown. There's Carter Brown, rink-wide pass. Picked up for the Mountaineers by Panchizen. Panchizen, far corner at the other end, centers. Held in by Brown. Brown dumps it behind the net in the Dayton zone. Now Brown gets it back. Right point shot. Aiden Ward. Aiden again kind of frustrating at his shot. Uh, now he might he has something going on. Aiden Ward's heading to the 
to the bench. He's something wrong with a skate maybe or something, but seemed like he uh, had some type of discomfort after he took that shot. And that's the second time I'd seen Aiden Ward express some frustration over a shot he had taken that was not on target. So maybe he's got something going on with his skates or something. Maybe that's bothering him or I don't know. Six and a half to play in the period. Flyers have it at their West Virginia line. Their players tied up by number 92 stock and a shot at the other end and saved by Tavian Parks. Another shot on net and Parks is, well, Parks will hit the ice to stop that one and he'll hold on to it. It's been goals for Dayton by Rutherford, Bora, and Stuber. So unofficially, Jeff's got uh, shots even at 23 apiece, shots on goal. Flyers pick up a loose puck at center. And chasing the puck down in the corner now, a centering pass broken up by the goalkeeper, Kavakic and Bora trying to hold the puck in at the blue line, unable to. His pass for Smith is stolen and a shot on net and the save made by Parks at the other end. Another shot, pad save. Parks down, another shot in front. And Parks leg pads down on the ice trying to keep the puck out. Here's a shot from the left point off the stick of Joe Palahunik. And Parks will hold on to it. 5.22 to go in the period. Teams will both change lines with a stoppage of play. Thanks for joining us for some Sunday afternoon college hockey. Another shot in Parks the save. And now there's some scuffling in front of the Dayton net, and it's broken up. Five twelve left in the second. Still some join going on between some of the players of both teams off to the side of the Dayton net. The officials trying to break that up. And our officials today, we've got Lee McClure and Daron Kindop and Eric Schreiner. Been a pretty cleanly played game. We've had a few penalties. And we've got one right now. That's a slash on the Flyers' Declan Ploice. So Declan Ploice in the box for slashing. Declan, six foot one fifty-five, sophomore out of Chicago, likes to go skiing when he's not playing hockey. And he's going to have an opportunity as we have some snow in this area over the past few days. Puck cleared by the Flyers. Behind his own net, Martin gets the puck from goalkeeper Kavakic to Martin. Pass up ahead to Payne Chisholm into the Dayton zone side of the net. Trying to wrap it around, but it's taken by goalie Tavian Parks, and he'll hold on to it. Minute and a half left in the West Virginia power play. Puck controlled by Stankiewicz at the blue line. Drops it off in the corner. Flyers intercept. Unable to get the puck out of their own zone, however. There's a shot. And it's 
deflected over the glass in one of the face-off that shot by Mitch Ducalo of West Virginia. Four nineteen to go in the second face-off left wing circle of the Dayton zone. Puck dropped. Back at the left point for West Virginia's Josh Plotkin. Moves in, shoots, blocked. Played along the wall by Max Sokol, who had a hat trick yesterday for West Virginia. Puck centered in front of the Dayton net, but deflected away. Here come the Flyers. And on a shorthanded chance, but good check into the boards on Mygon by Plotkin. Back is Sokol. Max Sokol will dump it in the Dayton zone. 28 seconds left in the power play chance for West Virginia. Three and a half to go in the period. Flyers clear it. Kavakic plays it ahead, but it's stripped away. Stolen. Here's a chance. They score. For the Flyers. And it's Big Teddy Stuber. His second goal of the game as he takes the puck away, shorthanded right in front of the West Virginia net. He waits for Kavakic to commit himself. And from almost over into the, the left wing circle, pulls the wrist shot into the West Virginia net for a four to nothing Dayton lead. What an individual effort and what a shot by Big Ted Stuber. That was a shorthanded goal. Third shorthanded goal of the weekend for the Flyers. They had a couple yesterday. What an effort by Teddy. Penalty's been killed off. And now a whistle at center as the puck pops over the, the boards. We'll have a face-off. Two forty to go in period number two. The Flyers now thing. It's their biggest lead of the weekend. This time it is Mike Mygon, two minutes. And coaching, talking to Coach Tony Morris before the game, I told him, well, what was one thing that we were disappointed in yesterday? One of them was too many trips to the penalty box. But if you're able to kill them off and get shorthanded goals, I guess it's not bad. <laughs> but uh, here's Martin for Stankiewicz. Over the Dayton line on right wing, Stankiewicz stops, drops it back to the point, shot by Martin, and it's blocked in front. Now Martin quarterbacking the power play, drops it off to the left wing, and a pass from right wing to Stankiewicz deflects to center. Mountaineers have to circle back. Here's a drop pass for Stankiewicz. Around a couple of Dayton defenders, pulls the trigger on a shot and the save made by Parks. 103 left in the one-man advantage for West Virginia. A minute 42 left in period number two. Jake Day, hey Jake. Uh, Jake says so. It's uh, so since he's a law student, student that goal should be considered a subpoena, followed by a deposition. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yep, Ted did his undergrad at Ohio University and decided to go to Dayton for law. He had a couple of years of eligibility left to play hockey, so he very fortunate for the Flyers that uh, Big Ted has been able to do just that. Here's a shot, pad save Parks, he'll hold on to it. Teddy, six foot five, two hundred pounder from Rocky River, which is in the Cleveland area. And 
and he has scored twice in this period to give the Flyers a four to nothing lead. The goals in the first period came from Rutherford and Bora. Now here's a chance for Reed, but lost the handle. It's picked up by Stankiewicz, but he's checked. Sokol comes away with a puck on right wing. Into the Dayton zone, Max Sokol trying to pull the trigger, and it's tipped wide. Penalty to Mygon has been killed off. There's a shot by Stankiewicz, and Parks has it. And we'll have a face-off. Just 38 seconds left in period number two. Appreciate everybody joining us for some Sunday afternoon hockey, taking a break from football. Jake Day says the goalie's objection to uh, Ted Stuber's uh, uh, deposition is overruled. <laughs> Here is Brown, lost it. Flyers have a chance, a shot, and the save made by Kavakic as he catches the putt head high. That was a giveaway in the defending zone by West Virginia. Flyers almost capitalize on it. Face off left wing circle of the Mountaineer zone. Ducalo uh, against Umhafer. Umhafer wins it. Centers the puck. It's deflected over to Constable. He's ridden down to the ice in the corner by Martin. Loose puck. Picked up by Umhafer, and Martin taps the flyer player Connor Constable on the head as he had ridden him down to the ice. Just a few seconds left. Puck dropped, and that'll do it for the second period. The scorer after two. It is the Dayton Flyers four and the West Virginia Mountaineers nothing. They are going to pull out the Zamboni and resurface the ice. We are going to step aside once again and take a little break. When we come back as the Zamboni gets finished with its trips around the ice, then we will go back over the scoring, uh, the goal scoring. And we'll have the start of the third period when we come back. Stay with us. Again, Flyers 4, Mountaineers nothing after 2. We'll be back uh, here in a few minutes. Uh, stay with us.
Jordan for the third period. Flyers against West Virginia. With the Flyers uh, leading at 4 nothing, And we got a message from Nigel Gunn saying uh, Beaver Creek beat uh, Columbus 5 uh, nothing. Columbus Academy, I think they're called. Okay. Thanks, Nigel. Thanks for passing that along. That was a big win for the Beavers, one of our local high schools that we cover on a different YouTube channel. So the goal scorers in the game for the Flyers' first period, Rutherford and Bora. And in the second period, two goals by Ted Stuber. And that's where we're at. And shots on goal unofficially favoring West Virginia, actually. 32-25 at this point. Tavian Parks, the 6-2 goaltender from Uniontown, Ohio. 6'2", 190. He's a business entrepreneurship major. Tavian Parks in the net for the Flyers just beneath us and way at the other end of the rink for the Mountaineers. It's Kavakic or Kavakic. Nate Kavakic, who was from Morgantown, West Virginia, which is the home of West Virginia University. Flyers trying to get it out of their own zone. It's flipped up to center ice by Alex Pompina. And cleared right back behind the Dayton net by the Mountaineers. Back to get it is Ploice. Ploice around Sokol. Pass to center for a teammate. Is deflected right back behind the flyer net. Played there by Mygon. Mike Mygon of the Flyers. Bangs it over for Bora. Bora tips to center. Emptied right back in by the Mountaineers. Now for the Flyers, here's Meichenbaum. Meichenbaum scored a goal last night for Dayton. For DeLeo, who dumps it in. Flyers in the chapel blue sweaters, red trunks. West Virginia in the white sweaters, black trunks. There's icing on West Virginia. Again, coming into the game, West Virginia is... 10, 7, and 3. Flyers coached by Tony Morris and West Virginia by Adam Brown. Again, your officials today, Lee McClure, Daryl Kindop, and Eric Schreiner. My name is Kent Jacobs, along with producer engineer Jeff Duford, and we are emanating from the National Trails Parks and Rec Department Chiller Rink in Springfield, Ohio. About a half hour northeast of Dayton. And here is Mike and Bob for the Flyers. Shovels the puck to center on right wing. Puck intercepted by the Mountaineers. They'll slide it back in the Dayton zone here right below us. There's a shot toward the Dayton net, blocked by Meichenbaum. Another shot, this time blocked by Mygon of Dayton. Flyers just need to protect that net up four to nothing with a little over 17 minutes to play. Centering pass broken up by Mygon, but there's a shot toward the Dayton net from the right point is blocked. And back to get it for the Mountaineers is Carter Brown. Shot on net, pad save for Parks. Loose puck picked up by Umhafer. Shoots to center. Dumped right back in. Mike and Baum will clear it. Dylan Williams, nice back uh, word pass for teammate. Gallagher, but he's broken up. Now 
Now the Mountaineers tip the puck into the Dayton zone, fighting for it. Gallagher for West Virginia and Sieve for Dayton. Now Gallagher checked by Sieve, and the puck comes to Umhafer. Umhafer checked by Brady. Jason Brady. Loose puck. Sieve chips toward the line, held in. There's a shot that's deflected on goal, and save made by Parks. From the rebound, here's Brett Smith of Dayton. Clears, not out, it's dumped right back in by the Mountaineers. For the Flyers, Brett Smith, pass on left wing is deflected over to Sieve. He passes ahead, now gets it back. Now for Smith, a shot, and a save made by Kavakic. Nate Kavakic out of Morgantown, West Virginia. He's a backup goalie for the Mountaineers. The Flyers face their starting goalie, goalie yesterday, Griffin Kinnar. And so that's just the other way around. Yesterday, the Flyers had their number one backup, Jake Dold, playing. And today, their starter is playing, Tavian Parks. Shot! And Parks gloves that puck right off the surface of the ice, and he'll hold on to it. From the very first day of practice that I watched, I have been impressed with the glove hand of Tavian Parks. Now here's Sokol from the face-off for the Mountaineers. Stankiewicz behind the net couldn't control it. Picked up for the Flyers right there by Solly Clark. He's bumped off the puck. Now Ploys wipes out. And the puck goes all the way down into the West Virginia zone. 14.40 to play in the third. And the puck is cleared. No icing. Back to get it for Dayton. Mygon. Mygon's pass off the stick of Sully Clark. Down to the other end. Carter Brown chops it off the end boards. Intended for teammate Stock. He passes into the Dayton zone. Nice defensive play there for the Flyers by Meikenbaum. And Mygon tries to clear it. He's unable to. It's held in and shot wide of the Dayton net. Now at the side of the Dayton cage, Palahunik. But he's poke checked away. And Nick Stock couldn't control it. Loose puck right at the center red line is chopped down behind the West Virginia net at the other end. 13.40 to play. Puck shot into the Dayton zone behind the net. There is Brett Smith. He has it stripped along the boards. But a big hit, and now a wrestling match between Gallagher and Connor Constable. And Connor Constable judo flips Francis Gallagher, and then Gallagher hits a flyer player into the boards. And the refs, they're just letting him go. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Connor Constable, who, well, let's see, we check the sizes. 5'7", 155, Francis Gallagher. Uh, do we have a... I don't have a height and weight on him, but it seems like Gallagher has probably got 25, 30 pounds at least on Constable, and Constable just almost like judo flipped him. <laughs> My goodness gracious. And then the... Then the uh, the Mountaineer player hit the Flyer player into the boards, and they're just letting them go, man. It's Sunday afternoon. There's a huge hit on by Ploice. 
on Weichel, but Weichel maintained possession, but now Paquetti steals it away and clears it to the line. Mountaineers have to get out of the zone. Here's Ploys. He's going to pass it not out. It's held in. Shot, and it's off a of stick wide. Fires Paquetti. Up for Reed off of his stick. Flyers need to get it out of their own zone. Paquetti passes down the ice, and icing waved off because it passed by a couple of players right along the wall. Twelve minutes to go in the regulation of this one. Four nothing Flyers in the blue tops, red trunks. Shot blocked by from the Mountaineers. Now after it, Mike and Baum. Mike and Bond behind the back pass for Mygon. Mygon pass deflected back into the Dayton zone to Mike and Bond. Mike and Bond slides it to center. It's broken up. Loose puck in front of the Dayton net and a shot and saved by Parks. Rebound still loose in front. Here's DeCallo. We got a delayed penalty, a shot, and they score. Deflected shot in front. I thought there was a delayed penalty coming up, but maybe not. Maybe it was on. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe I didn't see that correctly, but. Looks like the goal. Is Dane Martin. Hey, Jake. Did you want to get that, these guys? 15? Oh. Okay, so uh, Max Sokol, who got the hat trick yesterday, scored. And that breaks the shutout, puts the Mountaineers on the board. Now it's 4-1 to one, Dayton. And we've got a whistle. 11.05 to go in the third. Nothing that Parks could do on that shot. It was deflected. It was a high shot, and it was tipped. So that's a tough break for Tavian Parks. He has uh, at least one shutout this season. Do you have more chats? No, you guys you got the same one. There was a penalty on that play on Dayton. It is on Sully Clark for two minutes, and then two minutes on Joe Palahunik. So offsetting minor penalties. Flyers need to get the step back on the gas pedal. Here's Sieve carries over the Mountaineer line. Lost the handle. Here come the Mountaineers the other way. Nice defense by Kevin Bora to break up that rush. And then he's hooked down to the ice. Nothing called. And a shot, and it's kicked out by Parks. Well, these refs, they're just they're letting them play today. There's no question about that. Here's Bora. Flips it in the Mountaineer zone down at the other end of the ring. Bora fighting for it with Plotkin. 10.20 to go. Flyers get a chance. Flyers, it'd be nice to see them tack another one on. And now we've got a whistle. It was an offside. So Flyers carried back in the attacking zone offside and we'll have a face-off. 10.10 to play in the third. off down at the other end. Flyers have it. Puck chipped along the right wing side. And then the Mountaineers get the puck out of the uh, their defending zone. Cup for the Flyers is Big Ted Stuber. Teddy over the Mountaineer line, trying to stick handle through, and then he's tripped up and goes down. 
Back come the Mountaineers. Cutting across the slot is Stankiewicz. Stankiewicz drops it off, then gets it back, and then poke checked away by Meichenbaum of Dayton. Owen Meichenbaum stops behind his net. Outlet over to Smith. Pass at center for Reed is deflected away and up over the glass. And we'll have a faceoff. Four seconds left in the offsetting minor penalties to Clark of Dayton and Brown of, or not Brown, rather Palahunic of West Virginia. Faceoff at center on the Dayton side of center on the right wing dot. It'll be Colin Umhafer for Dayton squaring off against West Virginia player. Looks like Howcroft. Here's Mygon for Dayton. Checked into the boards by Weichel. Puck chipped all the way down behind the date net. That'll be an icing violation against West Virginia. Awfully nice to meet some folks here today. I got to meet uh, Jackson uh, Reed's dad. We've also uh, we got to meet uh, uh, Jake Huff, who is an injured player for West Virginia. He was up here with some of his... Uh, Scratched uh, teammates, they're doing some administrative work for the team, some shot uh, tracking and that type of thing. Nice to talk to those fellas up here in the mezzanine of the behind the glass at the chiller rink. Now a shot right on net and the save made by Kavakic. After the game, we'll be selecting three stars and a hard hat for the contest. From the draw, deep in the West Virginia zone, Mountaineers win it. They clear it behind the Dayton net. Played behind the cage by Smith. He's ridden into the boards. Loose puck, Smith picks it back up. He's being checked by Ambrosie. Now here's Tommy Sieve. Off the left wing boards for Smith. Pass at center. Intended for a right wing shot. And I couldn't catch the flyer player number and the save made by Kavakic. And cleared away. Flyer back to get it. And that is Alex Pompina. Nice to see Alex back in the lineup. Alex Pompina, number 22. Now here's a shot by Paquetti of Dayton that's blocked. Seven minutes to go in the third period. Flyers trying to hold on to a three-goal lead. It's four to one. And with goalkeeper Kavakic on the seat of his pants, the goal comes loose at the other end and will have a face-off. And a penalty. And it's not just a couple of minutes the, well, since I... Mention Alex Pompina and that he goes off on a penalty for two minutes. So Pompina, number 22, off on a two-minute minor penalty. So a chance for West Virginia to cut the Dayton lead in half with seven minutes to play with a one-man advantage. There's a shot, and it gets right through the goal crease. That shot by Howcroft of West Virginia.
Nice poke check of the puck off the stick of Dane Martin. Kyle Croft passes off to the wing. Now top of the slot. Screen shot and the save made by Parks. Howcroft was trying to get a tip on that right in front of Parks. But the puck right in the breadbasket of the flyer goalie, and he's able to smother it. Spencer DeLeo against Hal Croft. Hal Croft wins the draw, but the puck carries all the way back in front of the West Virginia net, and a tip! And the fight ensues, and the goalie is involved. It's Kavakic and a full boar brawl in the corner. The net came loose. Kavakic, the goalie, was involved as there was a full bore brawl that ensued for a moment. The Mountaineers on a power play already for another minute 15. And let's see how they sort this out. Flyer heading to the penalty box. And also one of the Mountaineers. There is six minutes and 16 seconds to play in regulation. Now, Nate Kavakic, the goalie, is heading to his bench, and now Tavian Parks will take a breather. Because it is taking the officials a few moments to sort this out. There was a full bore brawl there for a few moments that included the goalie. Kavakic, boy, he was going after somebody in the corner, well away from his crease. Jake Day says, goalie fight. <laughs> well, there wasn't a goalie fight, but just one goalie. Uh, <laughs> Kavakic was going after somebody hot and heavy, over, way over in the corner. He was... He went bananas there for a second. And it's taking the officials a few moments to sort this mess out. I'm assuming there's multiple players involved. Now the one official is going to the Dayton bench to tell Coach Morris and his staff what's going on. I'm sure they'll do the same for the West Virginia bench. First penalty posted is Kevin Bora of Dayton for two minutes. There are only three flyer skaters on the ice at the moment. And there, I can't imagine that there are no penalties on West Virginia. I mean, Kavakic, the goalie, was right in the middle of all that in the corner. Like I say, he went full bore right after somebody pushing somebody off into the corner, taking a, a swing at him. Well, there's only one penalty posted. It's Kevin Bohr of Dayton. Don't ask me, folks. 
unless there are some offsetting penalties that aren't being posted on the board, maybe that's a possibility. But right now it's five. Just under six minutes to play in the third. Flyers need to get, get busy and get the puck down at the other end of the rink. Here comes Best of West Virginia. Passes over into the Dayton zone. Howcroft back to get it. Howcroft centers a shot. It's blocked. Blocked by the Flyers, Spencer DeLeo, and then Meichenbaum clears the puck. Flyers need to give Tavian Parks all the help that they can give him. Trying to hang on to this two-goal lead. You know, the Mountaineers are going to be coming hard and heavy. They did that yesterday when they were down by two. They cut it to one. And came very close to tying the game. Here's a, sh a shot blocked. And then it comes right in on Parks, and he does make the stop. Pan Chisholm took a shot, and then it was blocked. And Halcroft tried to follow up. Thirty nine seconds left in the one man advantage for West Virginia. Face off in the Dayton zone from the draw from the left point. Puck dropped off to the boards. That was Sokol. He drops it back. Now pass back for Sokol. Now to the center point. Now to the right point. Weichel shot. And the save by Parks. Smith was in front trying to get a tip on that Weichel shot. Flyers clear the zone. Back to get it. Josh Plotkin of West Virginia. Penalty, second penalty's been killed off. The Bora penalty. So we're back to five on five. Here is Smith for West Virginia. Shadowed by two Flyers. Drops it behind the net to Nick Stock. Centers the puck. It's intercepted by Tavian Parks. And now the referees have to break up a few of the players at the side of the Dayton net. 3.51 to go in regulation. Francis Gallagher takes the draw against Colin Umhafer. Gallagher wins it. Shot from the draw, blocked. Flyers coming back. That's DeLeo, I believe, who's ridden into the boards at the other end of the rink. Players going down like bowling pins down there at the other end. Three and a half to play in the third. A shot in front of the West Virginia net, and Kavakic is able to cover it. It's been Rutherford and Bora and two by Stuber for Dayton. And then the two goals uh, in this period by, both in this period by West Virginia Sokol and Howcroft. That's where we're at, 4-2 Dayton, 3.20 to go. Shot this goal from the faceoff. The Flyers get a critical fifth goal to punch their lead back up to three. From the faceoff at the other end, the goal scored by Spencer DeLeo of Dayton. For Spencer's fifth goal of the season. That's a big one. Spencer DeLeo, 5'8", 150, junior out of Buffalo, New York. The Flyers now lead it 5-2. to two. Humongous goal. From the draw at center, it's Plotkin. Passes on right wing. It's tipped to the Dayton line. 
Flyers Rutherford carries back along the right wing wall. He's ridden out of the play. Flyers regain possession. Here's Owen Meichenbaum. Pass intended for Stuber. He's knocked down. Or was that uh, Ward? That was Aiden Ward. I think Aiden's had trouble with his skates. He's just looked awkward all afternoon on his skates. Two and a half to go, and there's a collection of players congregating in front of the West Virginia net at the other end. Netminder Kavakich has the puck. So a big, big goal by Spencer DeLeo, a junior forward. He scored yesterday. That's five now on the season for Spencer. Here's Piketty. Mark Piketty's shot from the right point is blocked. Flyers maintain possession. There's a whack at it by Ploice. And it's blocked in front. And now another confrontation between the goalie, K Kavikic. He was throwing, <laughs> looked like he was throwing punches with his blocking pad at one of the Flyer players along the end boards. Well, if Kavikic doesn't want to continue playing goalie, he's got a career in the ring as a boxer. <laughs> He was <laughs> he's throwing a punch with his blocking pad, and he was involved in that big fight over in the uh, opposite corner earlier in the period. So Mr. Kavakic, he's a pugnacious young man. 2.05 to go. Face off in the West Virginia zone, left wing circle. Looks like I'm Hafer taking the draw for date. I can't see the number for West Virginia. Welcome everybody joining us, whether you're a Flyer fan or a Mountaineer fan. There is a West Virginia penalty. It is on the goalie, Mr. Kavakic, I'm sure probably for roughing as he was taking a punch at one of the Flyer players. So it is Kavakic, number 31, who gets the penalty, so someone's serving that for him. Flyer power play with a minute 45 to go in this one. And a shot toward the Mountaineer net off a stick over the glass, and we'll have a face-off. Got a message from Jake Day, West Virginia goalie, wants to throw down. Who wants it? You got it, Jake. I tell you what, <laughs> Mr. Kavakic, he, he is after the game. After the game, maybe he can, they can throw up a, a ring in the middle of the rink and uh, let him uh, have a, a, a bout or two with some of the other players, maybe. Puck cleared behind the Dayton net. Here is Mike Mygon and Howcroft of West Virginia fighting for it. Now Sieve prodding at the puck. Sieve and Stuber. Sieve comes away with it. Tommy Sieve up right wing toward center ice. He'll dump it in on nets and stick to side by Kavakic. And a big hit on one of the Mountaineer players into the boards at the other end. Behind the net, and it's Weichel. Now he's back on his feet. Under a minute to play in the game, and 53 seconds left in the penalty to Kavakic. Now the penalty for Dayton is on Seabass. Sebastian, so congratulations to Declan, and uh, nice to hear from Patty and Jesse. And Ogio says, great call, Kent. Thanks, Ogie. Uh, great to hear from you again uh, this afternoon. So uh, let's go over the uh, the three stars now that we've gone over the scoring. Uh, let's see. We are going to give the um, 
Let's see. Let's give the uh, number three star of the game uh, to Howcroft of West Virginia. That's Tyler Howcroft is the number three star of the game. The number two star. Uh, this is tough. Uh, we're going to give it to Big Ted Stuber with the two goals in that second period. And the number one star is going to be uh, the goalkeeper of the Flyers today, Tavian Parks, as Tavian uh, unofficially stops 41 out of 43 shots. Uh, tough call between him and Teddy Stuber as far as the number one star, but uh, 41 saves today will give the, the number one star to Tavian Parks. Uh, Tavian, the freshman uh, netminder out of Uniontown, Ohio. Uh, the business entrepreneur major uh, is just a freshman, and uh, he came up with another strong performance in net for the Flyers once again. So, again, the three stars, uh, Hal Croft, the number three star from West Virginia, uh, Stuber, the number two star from Dayton, and the number one star of the game, Tavian Parks of Dayton. And as far as the hard hat, I'm going to give the hard hat to the West Virginia goalkeeper. Nate Kavakich. I don't know if I've ever given a hard hat award to a goalie, but Mr. Kavakich, who uh, he was about ready to fight anybody and everybody out there today. He was uh, uh, he was just ready to throw down out there today. So we'll give the hard hat today to Mr. Kavakich. And uh, so that'll be how things uh, wrap up. Uh, today any further chats let's see we've got uh hey uh louise glifani hey louise uh we got to say hello to louise in person yesterday and today she's uh back home and good to hear from her on the chat louise says thanks for the great coverage truly uh, made our drive back to chicago go fast uh thanks flyers for a great weekend of hockey and thanks louise for getting uh in touch with us this afternoon great to see you in person yesterday and, yeah, oh, I tell you what, they got something cooking, this Dayton Flyer hockey team. Now, I was speaking to Mr. Reed, uh, Jackson's dad, before the game, and he was going over with me about, you know, what they need uh, to to try to make uh, the regional playoffs for the ACHA. They need to jump about five spots in the rankings from 19 to 14. Um by the end of the season to get into the regional playoffs and they just keep winning. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, they can, uh, they can do it. They have time to do it, but they just, uh, keep their nose, to the grindstone and, uh, keep winning games and we'll see what happens. But I tell you what, it's been an awful lot of fun. Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, Jake Huff, uh, and a young player from West Virginia who was, uh, up here uh, uh, in the press area. Uh, good to see him today. Um, but I tell you what, uh, you know, it's obviously the last few years of flyer hockey, it's been lean. Uh, no no uh, sugar coating that, but it's an awful lot. Winning is a lot of fun. Do you realize that, Jeff? Jeff, did you realize that? Winning's a lot of fun. <laughs> ah, it's better than losing. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, uh, you know, the, the Flyers uh, teams the last few years have been very scrappy, very tough. A lot of great players, a lot of very memorable players uh, uh, for the Flyers of the last few years uh, that uh, uh, we cherish uh, our uh, memories of those guys watching them play. It was a lot of fun. But, I mean, again, no sugarcoating. Uh, the, the winning was... Uh, uh, something that only happened a few times a year, and all of a sudden now the, this group is, is, is has been a lot of fun to watch, and uh, they keep uh, getting better and better. It seems like as the year goes on, so um, it's uh, something we look forward to. Uh, and what do we got uh, next? So we got a, a message from uh, uh, Kathy or from Kelly Ward. Hey Kelly, how's it going? She says, thanks, Kent and Jeff, for another weekend of great coverage. Thank you, Kelly. And good game by Aiden today. I don't know. You'll have to check with Aiden and see if there was something going on with his 
skates or something. It seemed like he was having trouble skating today. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it seemed like he he was kind of awkward on a on a, his skate. So I don't know what was going on, but. Uh, uh, but uh, check with him, maybe. Uh, but Kelly, uh, it was uh, nice to hear from you. Uh, and uh, thanks for contacting us. And uh, uh, great, a great weekend. Flyers sweep the two-game series against West Virginia 6-5 yesterday and 5-2 five, and five, two today. And our next coverage of Flyer hockey is going to be... Let me look on my little... X. If it'll come in, hold on, folks. It's coming. Mm, hold on a second. Still waiting. Still waiting on the signal from, yeah. Oh, you've got it on your calendar, good. Next Saturday, the 20th. Next Saturday, the 20th at 9 p.m. Okay, Dayton against Xavier and um, Xavier is down, so it's a game that when you look at it, the Flyers should win, but of course we know how that goes. So you don't, and those are called trap games. Um, a team you think you should win, so uh, that's something the Flyers are going to have to just uh, keep uh, a business-like approach to. But uh, Xavier is kind of down right now. But uh, I tell you what, it's an opportunity for uh, Dayton to get over the 500 mark, which would be uh, something else. Um, if they can knock off the Musketeers next Saturday night. So that's uh, so we look forward to that next Saturday night at 9 p.m. on the 20th. And it's uh, back our, our regular home rink at uh, Kettering, uh, the Kettering Ice Arena, and against the Xavier. It's a conference game. So Flyers will try to look to knock off the Muskies and move up in the standings of the TCHL and also move up even further, maybe in the regional ACHA standings also. So we look forward to being with you then next Saturday night, uh, 10 o'clock, uh, this upcoming Saturday, I should say, against Xavier at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So uh, speaking for producer engineer, camera operator, Jeff DuFord, I'm Kent Jacobs. Reminding you again, the final scores this weekend as the Flyers are able to win a uh, series sweep against West Virginia. Yesterday, 6-5, to five, and today, 5-2, to two, as the Flyers, with the pair of wins, goes to 7-7 seven and seven on the season. West Virginia, with a loss today, drops to 10-8-3. and three. So until this upcoming Saturday night, this is Kent Jacobs saying good afternoon, everybody, from the chiller in Springfield.